Hey everybody, we're Savage Disney Pins. I'm Rocky. I'm Sarah. And welcome back to Savage Collects, where we talk about the pin collections that we have. Today, Sarah has an incredible collection to show you. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> not that impressive but it is incredible we have a playlist that you can check out still new to this so there's only a couple videos so far but check them out and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and checking out our pins today all right well let's get to this sweet collection of yours and when i say sweet i mean jack jack cookie num num sweet well if you haven't figured it out yet we are going to showcase the incredibles collection today it's so incredible it's plural Yes. <laughs> it's one of my smaller collections, but it's pretty mighty. I have some, I have a couple kind of bigger pins here. It's it's not much of a collection, honestly, but um, I'm pretty proud of it. The majority of my collection is on one of my embroidery hoops that I've made with the fabric. We uh, featured them in how we store and display our pins. I'll link that video right here. And then I also have a couple others that don't belong on the board. They are separate. I keep them separate. I, I have my reasoning. Her Incredibles collection is not one of her A-list or ultra collections like her Ariel and Haunted Mansion. So it hasn't got to the point where she needs two of everything to complete the set that they belong to and to fit in the Incredibles collection. Incredibles, hands down, my favorite Pixar movie. Out of all the Pixar movies, Incredibles is easily my favorite. Ooh, that's a bold statement right there. Incredibles 1 or Incredibles 2? I really... Or the two of them together? Because I feel like the two of them together in my head are like one movie and I really like them together. I really like um, Elastigirl's narrative in the second one. Like, mm -hmm. you really feel like, man, Mr. Incredible, you need to step it up. The first one, it's the first one, though, for me, is is it really just the writing is masterful. I didn't expect it when I went and saw it. So good. You want to dive in? Let's get to the pins, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with this booster pack. This was a five-pin booster pack that came out in 2018 when Incredibles 2 was coming out, and it's got um, all five of the family members on their own gold little emblems. It's a really cool little set. It is, yeah. I actually, I have this set also in my traders. I have a whole second set available for trade, too. Then there was a mystery box that came out a year later in 2019, and I, this mystery box, I don't think, I don't think a lot of people really liked, um, but I I ended up really liking them and I was able to get the entire set. Eight pins total. In that mystery box was Super Dad, Super Mom. Then there was a Dash, another Mr. Incredible, a Violet. And then there was Mrs. Incredible, Frozone. And then Edna Mode. And it says, luck favors the prepared, darling. And it's D-A-H. L-I-N-G. Darling. Darling. <laughs> Fun fact, the director and writer, Brad Bird, of those movies, he's the guy that actually did Edna Mode's voice, mm -hmm. which I think is hysterical. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. So this, this one is kind of cool. So it's got this little dangle here, and it says Disney Pixar Incredibles 2. It has um, all five of them. I love that Mr. Incredible, or Bob, is holding Jack-Jack while he's like running away. This came out in June of 2018 and it is actually a cast exclusive pin and an LE limited edition of 1000. That's awesome. Do you know what set I want? I want a Mr. Incredibles doing all the domestic things he has to do, like the homework, the cooking, the cleaning. I would buy every <laughs> single one of those. That's funny, yeah. So then let's go on to a couple other limited edition pins. So we have this one up here and this one over here, and they were both released for the 15th anniversary. I feel like I'm hemorrhaging my youth, you know? <laughs> so this one, we've got Helen and Edna looking at the new suits. And it's a slider pin, and I love that so much. And then this one over here, also for the 15th anniversary, is actually, um, it's got like a see-through element to it, which is really cool. And it features Mr. Incredible and Mirage, and they are um, on the lookout. Couple open edition pins. We've got this um, pure potential pin and um, 
It's My Way or The Runway. Those both came out right around the same time. This is actually one of my favorite open edition pins that I have because it is the Incredicoaster. So one of my main collections, this is actually one that I have two of because I have an attractions collection. And this looks like the posters that you see when you're walking down the uh, like corridor, the upper corridor. Yeah, where they have the TVs hanging down. On yeah. the ride, in the queue. Um, it's like the, the ad poster for the Incredicoaster. So I do really, really like that one. I did feature this one, this popcorn pin, in another one of our videos. In the first video in this series, I did my popcorn. I showed off my popcorn pins. And this is Jack-Jack eating popcorn. It is an open edition pin from Disney Studios Store Hollywood, DSSH. Don't worry, she doesn't have a baby's pin collection yet, so this is probably the last time that pin will be featured on Savage Flex. <laughs> yeah. We have a couple other DSSH pins here on this board. This one right here, I love this one so much. So that is, I don't have a lot of uh, Pin Trader Delight PTD pins, um, but this is one of them. It's Jack Jack eating his little ice cream sundae. If you don't know what a PTD is, it stands for Pin Trader Delight, and that is given at the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. And this one is a limited edition of 300. 300, PTDs always have pretty low LE sizes, which is really, really cool. And that came out October of 2019. So pretty recent on that one. And those are the best pins because if you're fortunate enough to get in the store and get one, you, you're you forced to buy a Sunday too. <laughs> yeah, you have oh to darn. buy a Sunday, yeah. <laughs> so they have done a couple online releases since COVID hit, but I am super excited for them to get back open and start doing their releases again with their Sundays. It's a really cool little store. It's a gear deli store. Some would say it's an incredible store. Oh my God. I really want one of the incredible t-shirts that just have the logo right in the center they sell in the parks. Yeah, there's another DSSH pin on here, this big this big guy right down here, uh, Mr. Incredible in front of his car. That is from a series called On The Go, and it was a whole bunch of different characters, not all incredible characters. He was the only one from The Incredibles, um, standing in front of their vehicles. This one is a limited edition of 400. It might be my favorite pin you have in this set. This little guy right here, 2020 with Jack-Jack. Obviously that came out in 2020 and that was from a mystery box. I do really like this one. This is a lounge fly pin. I don't like a lot of lounge fly pins because uh, their enamel is a little weird to me sometimes, but this one is nice and flush and it's just their logo. And I kind of like that it's like a deeper, darker red and like not super flashy, which I like. I'm in the other camp. I like the sparkly logo. Right <laughs> you like next the really it. flashy one? I really one. like the flashy one, yeah. yeah. It's simple. Their logo is really well, well done. <laughs> I like it a lot. So this one here is really cool. It's just an open edition pin. Um, it says The Incredibles and then Dash and Mrs. Um. Incredible slide. So there's a sliding element. That's one of the oldest Incredibles pins that I have. That one is from 2006. Ooh. Yeah. Vintage Incredibles. Yes, yeah. Um, and then the last one on the board is gonna be this guy up here. That is from the 2018 Pixar Fest in Disneyland, which was one of my favorite like events and festivals that they did at Disneyland. It was so cool. It was so, 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 so cool. So they came out with a whole series of these Pixar Fest pins. Um, and I think this is honestly, I think this is the only one that I have because I don't collect a lot of other Pixar movies, but it's really cool because I like, again, that it doesn't have a lot of color. It's just that like orange. Mrs. Incredible is kind of like set in the back and then Mr. Incredible has like the outline around him. But then if you look around the edges, you've got like the skyline, the city skyline up at the top with the big like Incredibles logo in the top corner. And then it says the Incredibles at the bottom. It's just a cool pin. It's kind of a pin on pin. So the, the frame is, is like a pin on pin. I haven't looked at this uh, up closely. I've just seen it from afar on your board and mm -hmm. I just thought it was Mr. Incredible. Mrs. Incredible in the background, that, Isn't I, that, yeah, I cool. love the style of this pin. The frame I can, <clears throat> I can leave or take. It looks a little gaudy, but the pin itself in the middle of the picture, mm -hmm. that's really cool. Yeah. I randomly have like a D Disney Visa card member pin that I got in a trade. You don't have a Disney Visa card though. 
I thought the Visa card pin was really cool. It's just Mr. Incredible. I like these two. You can call me Mrs. Incredible. You can call me Mr. Incredible. That was a two pin set, which was really cool. They don't always sell the pins together. So that was really nice. They came on one backer card. Super cute little Edna Mone. This is actually the very first pin that I got. My very first Incredibles pin was this 2018 Disneyland Edna Mode Christmas pin. At the time, it was a really weird uh, find because I didn't collect Incredibles or Edna Mode or Christmas. I didn't pick it out myself. I got it in like a, a mystery grab bag, but it kind of sparked this entire collection. This pin, this is the quarterly series that came out in 2020. So four pins total. And this was for the Lamplight Lounge. This was such a weird specific series that I loved so much. <laughs> Super random. I want to talk about how, how great this pin is. It features, in my opinion, the best restaurant in Disneyland, both parks. I love the atmosphere. They have secret rooms that I haven't been in. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can see the Incredicoaster from there. This pin also features the best quote of the Incredible movies. No capes. <laughs> if you really think about how disturbing that sequence of events about all the superheroes dying or getting mangled because of capes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a great line. It's, it's a really, really smart line. The reason this pin does not live on my board, other than the fact that there's not enough room, is because I keep this series all together with my attractions collection because this is a restaurant. So it's kind of park specific to me and I have it with my California Adventure collection. If you don't know about Lamplight Lounge or you've never been there before, it's this really, really cool restaurant that has um, like sketch drawings and artwork all over the place. We can't do an Incredibles pin video without mentioning the Incredicoaster a couple of times. I know you mentioned it with the posters with the the Incredible or the Incredicoaster poster pin. The Incredicoaster poster pin. Yes. That. Wow, you said that right. I didn't think you said it right. I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> normally, I just kind of mumble, and it's always in the wrong order. So. I'll I'll take what I can get. I know there was a lot of upset fans about, oh, it's being a tacky reskin. They just threw the Incredibles on it. I think they did a really, really good job. My favorite part about that whole bit though, is when you're standing in line right next to these posters, they have those TV sets and it's the Incredibles doing like a dedication, like on, on air for the Incredible Coast or the roller coaster. The ride is very meta. Yeah, they're like, uh, you realize that we're just getting a ride that's being repurposed or something like that dedicated to us. They call yeah. it out in the video. Yeah, yeah. And it's also, in my opinion, the most nefarious ride, the most evil genius plan that Disney's ever enacted. Because when you go through the tunnel and Mr. Incredible is trying to lure Jack-Jack back with the cookies, they pipe in the cookie num-num smell, which we'll, we'll get to in this pin here in a second. <laughs> and Every time we ride that, and I can't decide if it's because Sarah wants a cookie num num, we go ride the Incredicoaster, or as a result of smelling it in the tunnel, but she always gets a cookie num num. Oh, they're so good. So that's why I was so excited when this pin series came out. This is the 2020 Disney Sense pin. And this is the very first one. This was January of 2020. And um, oh man, it's just, so good, so good. The series is really cool. Each pin has a character and then an associated smell with it. And there's like a little scratch and sniff up there at the top. So this one is obviously Jack-Jack. He's got this really cool like blue metal, like glitter background. And then the cookie is elevated and it's that kind of like that rubberized element to it. And it says cookie num num. Well, that's it. That's the entire Incredibles collection at this point in time. <laughs> By the time this video releases, it probably won't encompass all of the incredible pins anymore that Sarah has, just the way she works. But it's a good approximation. I don't have any incredible pins like in the in the works at the moment. I'm I'm really happy with the incredible pin selections that I have right now. We want to know in the comments below what your favorite incredible pin here is and let us know which collection you'd like to see featured in a future Savage Collects video. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button down below. For more content 
hit subscribe, and click that notification bell to be notified when we come out with more videos in the future. Until next time, stay savage. Bye. Bye. Stand out. It's just old. It's, it's tired. Savage Disney pins right there if you're singing stand out on camera. <laughs>